Hello, my name is Exabyte, and today I'm going to be showing you some simple computer components I made in Minecraft using redstone. So let's start off with this big colorful thing over here. Now this is an 8-bit adder, but I accidentally made it backwards. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so this is one whereas one should be this over here but I built it backwards so so this is one and then um, we can then do uh, some addition we can do one plus one and that equals two or backwards two and then we can do um, two plus two equals three and then we can do three plus three equals six now, if you don't know binary, that's okay. It's exactly like normal numbers, except in normal numbers, you can count to 9 before carrying. In binary, you can only count to 1 before carrying. So in binary, this would be 0, and this would be 1. Nothing weird yet. But if we try to count to 2, then we would have to carry. And when we carry, it will reset back to 0, and add a 1 in front. So this is 2 in binary. And this is 3. We have to carry again. This is 4, this is 5, and so on. Now, in order to figure out how the adder works, we're going to have to figure out how those blue things inside it work. And um, to do that, let's start with the half adder, which adds together two one-bit numbers, meaning that the two inputs are actually separate numbers being added together. Now, the half adder has an XOR gate and an AND gate. Now, an XOR gate will only activate if one and exclusively one of its inputs are active. And an AND gate will only activate if both are active. So, if we put one through it, it'll activate. If we put two through it, it will deactivate. And then this can be used to do math. So we can have it be, if it's zero plus one, then this will activate and it'll be one. And if it's one plus one, then this will deactivate, and the signals will activate this thing over here, and it'll be 2. Now, a half adder could add two 1 bit numbers, but for reasons I'll explain in a second, we need to be able to add three 1 bit numbers. So, to do that, we have two half adders, and then we have the first half adder carry over to the second to be combined with the third input and then have the outputs output over here. So 1 plus 1 equals 2, and 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So now we can add three 1-bit numbers, but that's not very useful. We want to be able to add larger numbers together. So in order to do that, we will then have a bunch of those adders we just made, and put them all next to each other, and then we will actually take this input right here and split it up into uh, like eight different parts, send it to each one, then have each um, place in the number be calculated, and then, and this is why we needed uh, three inputs, we will take the carry, or the second bit from there, and add it into the input there. That way we will then be adding the top value plus the bottom value plus the carry from the previous one and then the outputs will all come out here and give you the full number. So now you know how the adder works, but I have another thing over here that can both add and subtract. So uh, it's currently in add mode, so we can add 2 to this 2 and actually you have to go way over here because you can barely see the torches, but now you can see that it says 4. But, if we go way back over here, we can also turn this into subtract mode. So we are now subtracting the 2 from the 2, which, if we go over here, we'll see that it is 0. And then we can go over here, set it to 3 minus 2, come back over here, and see that it says 1. Now, it actually has uh, two other modes. It can uh, increment and decrement, which means if this is set to 
to nothing, we can then click this and just have it add one. So this will add one, and then, well actually it's subtracting one, and then we can change it to subtract mode, and then it will add one, because I totally said that backwards. And this also has uh, three uh, output flags. It has overflow, uh, negative, and zero. Now these three flags will turn on if any of the states are true, so this overflow will turn on if the number like exceeds what can be held in an 8-bit value. Negative will turn on if the result is negative, and zero will turn on if the result is zero. And there you have it. We now have redstone computers capable of doing simple math. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, and if you have any questions about anything in this video, or suggestions for a future video, let me know down in the comments. And make sure you're subscribed, because in the next video, I'm going to be showing you what that thing is. And I'll see you next time.